To balance this double displacement reaction, we have this KClO3 plus H2SO4. And you probably could balance this one just by inspection, just looking at it. You have two Ks here, so maybe we put a two here, hydrogen, two here, and then we have just one. So we could put a two here, and I think that would balance it. If you counted everything up, this would be the correct balanced equation for KClO3 plus H2SO4. But let's count everything up, make sure we have the right coefficients here. So we have one potassium, and then we're gonna use a trick to make this a lot easier to balance. This ClO3, this chlorate, we have it here, it stays together, and we have it here again. So we can just say we have one chlorate. That makes this a lot easier. Two hydrogens, and again, sulfate, SO4. We have it here, and we have it here. It's a polyatomic ion, we have one sulfate. On the product side, two of the potassiums, one chlorate, one hydrogen, and then one sulfate. So if we put a two in front of our KClO3, one times two, That'll give us two potassiums. Those are balanced. This two applies to everything. And we say we had one chlorate times the two. That'll give us two. So over on the product side, we'll put a two in front of the HClO3. That way, we have one times two for the hydrogen. And the hydrogens are balanced. And then we have one chlorate times the two. That gives us two chlorates. So this equation is balanced, and we were correct in the way we did it initially. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for KClO3 plus H2SO4. Thanks for watching.